What is going on everyone? My name is Andy. Welcome back to another FPL video. There's been a lot of talk already during pre-season about building drafts with just one of Haaland or Salah. But what if you wanted to fit both of those premiums into the same squad? What would that look like? Well, that's what I've gone through in this video and I've included Trent Alexander-Arnold as well. If you enjoy it, give it a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. And if you want to get your current draft rated for free, click those links in the description below. So let's start with the defensive players. Now, as you might imagine, I've spent the full £100 million budget. It's very difficult to fit in Haaland, Salah and Trent and have money in the bank. I've stuck with the same combination in terms of budget spent on goalkeepers. So £8.5 million, a £4 million goalkeeper to sit on the bench and then a 4.5 to play every single week. For this draft, I've gone for sales at Nottingham Forest. I think I will end up going with the Chelsea goalkeeper, probably Sanchez. I want to get a bit more clarity over pre-season as to who's going to be the number one and also see if they buy a new goalkeeper because there is speculation that that is what they're looking to do. It's worth saying, by the way, that sales for Nottingham Forest might not even be the number one. It could be Miguel instead. Another thing to keep an eye out on, or sorry, keep an eye on during pre-season. I've not gone for Henderson or Johnston because I've got a Crystal Palace defender. I've not gone for Flecken because I've got a Brentford defender. So therefore, I defaulted to... Nottingham Forest, but we should get info about who are the number ones during preseason. So Forest goalkeeper in. The fixtures are pretty good for like the first 10 game weeks or so. They do play Liverpool away, Brighton away, and Chelsea away in game weeks four, five, and seven. But outside of that, the fixtures are pretty decent. Trent is in, as I've already mentioned. I think if you wanted to make the squad stronger overall, you would probably drop him down to like a six million defender, like Vardiol, Saliba. Uh, Van Dyke, etc. But if I can, when I'm building my squads at the moment, I want to have him in there. I just think that price point is so enticing. He's been more expensive than that for the last few seasons. We know what he's capable of, and the fixtures Liverpool have got, I want their best attacking defender. I mean, we don't yet know exactly where he's going to play in that Liverpool team under slot, but I'd be surprised if it's not still as an attacking right back. So I do want Trent in there. In terms of my 4.5 million defenders. I've actually got Pinnock from Brentford and Robinson from Fulham because the rotation uh, works pretty well. And I'll show you that in just a second. And I've also got Minaj from Crystal Palace because I think he's going to be the most attacking defender and their fixtures are pretty good. And their underlying numbers from last season were decent too. Again, if you wanted to upgrade another position, Munoz down to like an Anderson to save 0.5 million is an option. But where possible, I want those more attacking defenders in the team. And then my final defender is Fast from Leicester, who's only 4 million. Now, his primary role in this team will be to sit on the bench, hopefully to not have to be played that often. But Leicester do have a few good fixtures where they can provide cover for other defenders. So in terms of rotation, it works pretty well. Attacking defenders in Munoz and Trent. Robinson's not, uh, sorry, Robinson's no slouch either when it comes to attacking potential. And Pinnock's got a goal in from set pieces. So I think that looks pretty good altogether. I'll just quickly show you the rotation. So as well as giving your draft a rating, the My Team tool will let you see what future game weeks look like for your FPL squad in terms of rotation for defenders if you want to pre-plan transfers and stuff like that. So for my team or the draft that I've come up with here, Munoz against Brentford away, Pinnock against Palace at home and Trent against Ipswich away is game week one. In game week two, you would keep Trent in for Brentford at home. Robinson comes in off the bench for Fulham against Leicester at home. And then Munoz stays in the team because he's got West Ham at home. And then game week three, again, you'd probably keep Trent in even though he's playing against Man United away. He's not the kind of defender that you bench that much. Robinson's got Ipswich away, so newly promoted team there. A bit tougher to get a clean sheet away from home, but not a terrible fixture. And then Pinnock comes back in for Southampton at home. And on the bench, you've got Munoz against Chelsea away and Fast against Villa at home. If Leicester are looking strong, potentially you could play Fast instead of Robinson but you've got options there and then in game week four again Robinson against West Ham at home Trent against Forrest at home and then you can bring in Munoz to play instead of Pinnock who's got Leicester at home so for the first four or five game weeks that rotation works pretty nicely so that is why I've gone for those 4.5 million defenders it's not that Dunk, Konza etc are terrible options that rotation just works quite nicely you kind of need that way you're looking to save funds to fit in all those big hitters so Defence is not as solid as it could be, but obviously you've got to make some sacrifices somewhere. So in midfield, of course, I've gone for Mo Salah, kind of the point of making this video. Alongside him, it's Anthony Gordon at 7.5 million. Now, he's not a player that's featured that heavily 
when I've been making my own personal drafts. But I do think he's a good option at that price point with his minutes, the fact that he always starts, and the fixtures that Newcastle have for the start of the season. And when you look at players that are more expensive in midfield, the likes of, I don't know, like Fernandez and Odegaard, I do think they're probably better options than Gordon. But I don't feel like I've got to go out of my way to find the money to upgrade Gordon to them. Like if I wanted to upgrade Gordon, really I want to go to like a Foden, a Saka, a Son, or a Palmer, and that's a lot more money. So I think at 7.5, he's decent. The other options at that price point are Madison. I'm not massively keen on him. I think he's fine, but I don't think he's better than Gordon. Bowen is good too, but the fixtures aren't as good for West Ham as they are for Newcastle early on. And look, Diaz or Diogo Jota for Liverpool could be great, but we need to see who's available for game week one and who's likely to be that preferred attack under Arnie slot rather than Jurgen Klopp so right now I don't feel comfortable going there so that is why Gordon is in as he's been in a lot of my personal drafts I still think 7 million is pretty decent even without Elise for Crystal Palace the fixtures are okay he's nailed on direct free kicks penalties etc I won't go through that again and then the other two players are both 6.5 million so one is Garnacho with Fulham at home game week one and I think generally pretty good fixtures for Man United from an attacking sense not you know, they're not fixtures you would hand pick, but they're not terrible either. And then I've got Nkunku. Now, this early on in preseason, I wouldn't get too hung up about who the 6.5 million players are. They could easily be Brennan Johnson and Leon Bailey at Villa, for example. But in terms of a structure to fit Salah in, I think that's quite nice. Again, some sacrifice has to be made somewhere. And to get Salah, Harden and Trent, that's how I've decided to do it. It's very difficult to also fit in a Palmer or a Saka, but maybe it doesn't matter if you've got Salah and Haaland. And I think that, you know, Eze at seven, Gordon at 7.5, and then two 6.5s, it doesn't look terrible, especially when you consider how good the rotation is in defence. You've got Trent, you've got Munoz, who's attacking too. I quite like it. I haven't really decided right now who the best 6.5s are. I like Garnacho, I like Nkunku if he's going to get minutes. Like, Nkunku's just that player that, I don't see how he doesn't get plenty of returns if he gets the minutes and stays fit. I think once you get past that Man City fixture, the games for Chelsea are pretty good. And with the way I've set this up, you can even bench him in game week one if you wanted to. So that looks pretty good. But again, Leon Bailey, Brennan Johnson, if they're going to get regular minutes, are probably just as good, if not slightly better options. But there's lots of players you could go for at 6.5. Even Matoma, for example, if he's going to start for Brighton. So I think the midfield looks good. Would it look better with a Palmer or someone like that? Of course. But it certainly doesn't look terrible. And then up front alongside Erling Haaland, I've gone for Chris Wood at Nottingham Forest and Adam Armstrong at Southampton. Again, don't get too caught up on the specific players. Instead of Chris Wood, it could be Meniz at Fulham. Instead of Armstrong, it could be Jao Pedro if he's going to get regular minutes and be fit for Brighton to start the season. But that's the overall structure that I've gone for. Apart from the 4 million goalkeeper... There's no real dud players in there that are just not going to get minutes. At least for the information we've got to go on right now, it might be that Nottingham Forest buy a new number nine or that Awanee becomes first choice. But at the end of last season, Chris Wood was first choice for Nottingham Forest. He did really well under Nuno. His numbers are good. I think he scored something like 14 goals as well. And the fixtures are decent to start of the season. So I like him. And Kunku should be fine. And then even Fast, who's 4 million for Leicester, we know that he's going to be nailed on. So overall... I think that's a pretty strong squad considering the players that I fit in. I think Adam Armstrong has never really done massively well in the Premier League um, when he's played previously, but he is 5.5 nailed and on penalties. And like I said, it could be João Pedro. And ultimately, I've not got like a 4.5 non-playing midfielder or forward. So Adam Armstrong doesn't even have to play every week because Nkunku would come in after that City game. So... I think that looks pretty nice. There are other ways that you could restructure. I think I had a look earlier. And if I if you wanted to get Isaac in, for example, if you did Trent down to a 6 million defender, let's just put Vardy in for now, and then do Chris Wood up to Isaac, I think you've got to free up another 1.5. Yeah, 1.5. So Minaz down to Anderson works as well. And then for the extra million you'd have to do something like Gordon out to another 6.5 and do something like that. So instead of Trent, Munoz, Gordon, and Chris Wood, you've got Vardy or any £6 million defender, Anderson, Bailey, and Isaac. And I still think that looks 
fairly strong. I, I think I prefer the the Trent route rather than having three 6.5 million midfielders. But if you want Isaac and Salah and Haaland, you could do that instead. And if you really wanted to, you could just cut down Vardy or to a really cheap defender. Just make sure your rotations are correct and spend even more money up front. I still think, same thing I said on a recent video, that when it comes down to the deadline in game week one, I'm probably just going to go with one of Salah or Haaland and just make my decision. But I do think it's viable to have both. And some people will say, well, what if Saka or Son or Palmer starts doing really well? How are you going to get them? You can't just go from Eze up to one of them very easily. But you'd have to free up some money. You'd have to sell one of Haaland and Salah. That is the choice you're making, right? So, yeah, I think it's viable. And I will continue to try and make that draft even better. But I think that's a pretty good starting point. Looking on the My Team tool, the rating actually comes out at 91% which is pretty decent. If you want to get your current draft obviously rated for free, there are links in the description below. But that shows that it's pretty solid. And the overall structure is quite good. There's rotation options in defense, rotation options uh, in attack. And for the first few weeks, hopefully no transfers. So you'd have a few bank transfers to rearrange the squad if you wanted to. Anyway, let me know what you think of a Trent, Salah and Haaland draft. Could you do better? What would you change? Let me know in the comments below. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out Fantasy Football Hub using the links in the description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you again tomorrow for another video.